Three years ago, I posted on social media that I believe all content should be free. You know, um, if content were all free, instead of locked away and paid webinars and paid expensive training courses, then humanity would grow faster. Uh, you would be able to attract your ideal audience more because of your free content and you would actually be more creative because of the how prolific you are in putting the content out. Well, now that it's been three years and I've been putting out a lot of free content, uh, in 2015 I, I made over 100 videos like this, in 2016 I think I also made about 100 and 2017 I'm continuing three, three videos a week. Um, I've, uh, my thoughts about that have, have continued to mature and I'll tell you where I, where I stand now with it. I believe that free content needs to be easy to consume, easy for the viewer or the reader to consume, um, and hopefully also easy for the creator to just create and put out there. Um, when people are consuming something for free, by and large, they're not ready to put a lot of effort and time and thought into implementing this particular idea or, you know, uh, applying this framework to their life, right? They just want something that's kind of quick and easy tips to 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 make some kind of benefit or to be entertained in some way, okay? And then, so now I recommend that your free content, to put out the stuff that's, again, easy, easy and hopefully entertaining for the person to consume and hopefully easy for you and casual to make, like the videos I'm making like this. Um, and then your more in-depth content, the stuff that takes uh, students more thoughtful implementation to to apply to their lives make that a paid thing it's either a paid workshop a paid ebook or something like that uh, because when they when people pay for something they're much more energetically willing to invest the thought and effort it takes to make that thing apply to their lives so for example with free webinars the attendance rate for free webinars are somewhere between 15 and 35 percent Whereas my paid workshops get a 92% on average attendance rate, even if it's just $25. So um, one more thing I'll say is that I do also believe that over the course of your life, make an effort to turn all of your, even your in-depth stuff into bite-sized pieces that are easy to consume that you could eventually give give it all away for free throughout the rest of your life but for now just give away the stuff that's easy to consume and then sell the stuff that's more in-depth and takes thoughtful implementation um, so and oh one more thing I'll have to say is I, I said three years ago that I don't believe in copyrights and honestly I still don't even my paid stuff I don't have a copyright and like I'm I'm not afraid of people sharing it uh, except for the privacy nature of my online workshops don't share my online workshop videos because there are other people who are part of the workshops and that's not fair to them but just in terms of the ideas themselves I don't copyright my stuff I invite people to share it if they want to attribute it to me, wonderful, I'm grateful, but even if they forget to or whatever, it's no big deal. I do want humanity to evolve more quickly by having ideas available out there. And so that's still my belief. I, I, I think the, the effort of protecting our content is actually a, a, a lot of effort goes into that. And honestly, I think a lot of effort is wasted because oftentimes it's useless anyway to try to protect it because people will find ways to share it. And when idea, when you don't try to protect it, you free up your energy for creativity instead. So anyway, I still believe that. Um, I hope this is interesting, helpful. Until the next video, I'm George Cow, always open to your questions and comments. And I wish you free and casual content that brings you your ideal audience and uplifts humanity. Be well.